ROG Ally is killing micro SD card, is what a bunch of the owners of the device have been saying past few weeks. And well, Asus has finally come out to elaborate on the issue, and well, apparently your SD cards should be just fine. Which is definitely good news, but unfortunately, it's the micro SD card reader that's having issues, and uh, well, dying. But why is the SD card reader dying? Well, basically because it's getting too hot. Why is it getting too hot? Well, it's kind of located right on top of one of the heat vents that blow out the hot air from the device. So if you're experiencing the issue, then contact Asus and be like, hey, what's up, man? What the heck? And like, help me. Bro. And let me know if this turns you off the ROG Ally and maybe more towards the cheaper and less powerful but fully functioning Steam Deck. Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you are having a nice day. Uh, unlike the owners of the ROG Ally, so this issue, it obviously sucks, but this is a good example of why you perhaps don't want to be the one of the first owners for a completely new first generation device like the Asus ROG Ally. And I mean, with any device, it's a good strat to just wait a little bit when the device launches before getting it, because of course these things go through strenuous testing uh, before actually being sold and while they're prototyping the device and so on. But when they actually launch, when people actually buy them and actually use them in their everyday life, uh, over the next few months, few weeks of the device, you can uncover a lot of issues because uh, users often use devices in different ways than the engineers would have initially thought. For instance so people have been hoping this was a driver issue but no unfortunately it's not a driver issue as some had speculated this is a good old-fashioned heat issue so as you can see over here this is the micro sd card slot and this is one of the vents uh, that exhausts the hot air of the device which i mean gets extremely hot because this is a very small device and the cpu alone can ramp up just to 30 watts so we don't know exactly what temperature this device gets damaged at but i just want to say that it's pretty dang hard to kill a micro sd card reader or a micro sd card just by heat because in my experience and you might be able to relate yourself i have a black car and i live in a climate where it gets extremely hot during the summer for instance if you just leave your car on the sun on a few days and then you just come back to the car you sit in the car and you place your hands on like the dashboard if you don't take them off right away you could actually get burnt and in my car i also have a dash cam which records to a micro SD card and that dash cam and the micro SD card have been uh, totally fine for the past few years and of course a lot of people in the world have dash cams as well and dash cams are one of the components that can also be exposed directly to the sun so you they can reach like some obscenely high temperatures and this is apparently an even higher temperature than that so uh, basically what I'm trying to say is uh, that this thing is extremely hot and it probably you know in hindsight wasn't a good idea to put the micro SD card slot right on top of the heat vent so now okay this is an issue but what can you actually do about it well asus says it's working on a software update to address the issue by increasing the minimum and maximum fan speeds to keep the internals cooler so this is not the greatest fix in the world because if the fans are going to be ramping up more if they're going to be spinning at higher rpms all the time obviously the noise is going to go up and the battery life is going to go down and well the heat is also going to go down a bit as well and unfortunately there's also going to be quite a few people most likely that already have this micro sd card slot damage so in that case just uh contact asus and hopefully they're going to be able to help you out because uh their support is going to be a bit different depending on your region at least i would imagine so if you have a broken component you are most likely going to need to send this device back to asus and then they're going to have to fix it which like how are you even going to do that because i doubt they can just putting a different sd card reader that can handle higher temperatures i'm not really sure that's a thing so most likely what's gonna happen they might just put a little bit more thermal insulation uh, above the vent and under the micro sd card reader and then just release the software updates to keep the fans spinning at higher rpms and then i guess they're just gonna hope for the best uh you know just hope the uh, micro sd card slots don't fail again another fix that you can do yourself is to actually throttle your device so instead of the cpu being able to reach 30 watts maybe you limit it only to 20 watts but of course that is very much not fun of course you're going to have benefits such as better battery life better thermals uh but you are going to be leaving some performance on the 
table. So you can do that, but obviously it kind of sucks. Now, some people are also very hopeful because there is a new version of the Ally coming out pretty soon. So if you wait a few months, the cheaper Ally with a non-extreme CPU will be available for a little less. Hopefully that device will launch with a cooler card reader and my thought on that is if uh, they put the micro sd card in a better slot okay that's going to be fixed but if it's in the same spot i mean it's not like at this point they can really change the device that has not yet been released because of course it's still a few months away but most likely that device has already been in production for a while because obviously these devices like smartphones laptops just everything it takes a few months to actually produce them to the point to actually put them in all of these warehouses it takes a few months to get the production up to the point where you can actually do a global launch and just not have the product sell out immediately so the thing is this cheaper device is most likely already being stored in warehouses and it's still going to be in production for a few months and then it's just going to start shipping all over the world before it actually launches so yeah if they discovered this issue maybe like six months ago maybe uh, they could have fixed the smaller device if it will have this issue at all uh, otherwise they're probably just going to do a software update and just hope for the best and of course another alternative is to just get the steam deck that is a little bit cheaper but it's also not quite as powerful as uh, of a device the rg ally has a few uh, much nicer specs i think it's a six core okay so apparently there's an eight core and a six core option i thought it was only the six core cpu and of course the rg ally does have a 120 hertz refresh rate monitor whereas the steam deck does not so yeah i mean the steam deck works the rg ally is a better value in my opinion it's just a much much more powerful device with some nicer specs but obviously it costs more money and uh, it has issues so let me know i'm actually really interested uh, if you were buying a handheld console at this point would you actually go for the rg ally or for the steam deck thanks for watching and hopefully you have a nice day